I am Georgia, um, and I am coming to you from the location of my capstone project. I'm here in the Fairfax County uh, Historic Records Center um, for the Circuit Court, and um, here we have all records um, created by the court since its founding in 1742. Um, and so normally I'm working with this side of um, the records, which is, these are chancery cases, we've got probate records, we have land records, um, but they're all um, created by the court. On this side, we have a collection that was donated um, to the county. The clerk decided to take it in because it, w it was valuable, um, but it's, it was created by, by a firm, um, and it was created for a firm, and so, um, it hasn't been touched. It's a really big collection. It hasn't been touched since the mid '90s, um, since we since we brought it here. So the short description of my um, project is that I'm going to be creating an appraisal report and a processing plan for this collection, and I'm also going to be trying to figure out their codes and their and their um, indexing, their filing system, so that we can access these these records. Um, there's a few challenges when it was brought in. There, were no, there was no accessioning, there was no like <clears throat> record of how things came in. Also, it was closed, actually, the firm was closed in, in the 80s, um, and most of the people who created these, these records are now no longer living. So we can't ask them how they, <laughs> they work their records. Um, and um, we're kind of running up against a time crunch because the the county archivist, the um, he's getting ready to retire, and he was here when they were brought in. Um, and the clerk of the court is not going to be seeking re-election, so he will not be here that much longer. And he's the one who decided to bring them in. Um, they are valuable. I agree that they're very valuable because we have a lot of land records, and we have a lot of people coming in looking for plats, highway plats, subdivision plats. Um, and Although we do have a lot of the records, some we don't have, and the copies are a little old. Um, they might be microfiche or copies of microfiche, and they have really good records in here. Um, and so it's kind of a supplementary, um, it's just information added for our patrons. And so I'm kind of going to be working that into the scope and content note and um, the processing plan. Um, and I'm also going to be trying to identify some key records, some are very important records that might be more useful, and some of um, some key users that might find the information also very useful. So, um, oh, and I'm also going to be trying to piece together um, a chain of custody for the records and doing like a little bit of history. Um, this is also uh, so the firm they they created all these all these records for themselves, um, but not just for our county, for some other counties. So this is actually a piece of the collection. So I'm also going to try to um, include where the rest of the collection is and contact those those other places to see if maybe they have an idea of how things run, how their, um, their records were processed and things like that. So um, I'm starting small. I have a, a small goal of just creating the appraisal report and the processing plan, but there's also a lot of other things I want to do as well, and so hopefully I will get them all done. <laughs> it's just um, I will get it done for this class, and if I don't, then I will continue on uh, <laughs> because it will. This will be submitted to the clerk of the court, and so hopefully we will begin processing them, indexing them, find, creating finding aids for these um, that make sense to normal people after that. So I look forward to seeing your guys' projects and talking about them as we go along. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.